falls are the leading cause of unintentional injury nationwide, and sometimes they can even be deadly, especially when you fall from a ladder. A man working on a ladder in Alva was killed when it fell against a power line. Now, this happened in the uh, near the Alva Cemetery on Docks Lane. Lee County deputies say the man fell off the ladder, and EMS did CPR, but he unfortunately died on the scene. Once you start using a ladder improperly, one of two things, you lack training or you lack knowledge. Once you get up here, and let's even say you fall from six feet, you're probably doing 10, 15 miles per hour. And again, it depends on how you fall. If you fall, you know, if you fall horizontally and you bounce off the concrete, I promise you bad things are gonna happen. But if you fall vertically, maybe land on your legs, it still could happen because of the forces. With that much force and you hit, there's a good chance you're gonna blow a disc or two. And then there's a really good chance you could break your back. Ladders are one of the leading causes of injury in any, in construction or in general industry. A tragic fatal accident. He got caught in the inactive machinery as he was making an adjustment and then fell from the ladder he was on. And now OSHA is investigating the circumstances leading up to the victim succumbing to severe upper body injuries. There's no reason to put your business at risk, your life at risk, and your people that are gonna work for you at risk uh, of a fall from uh, improper ladder or improper fall protection. There's nothing more important than you going home to your family at night, healthy and happy because you're the boss. You gotta go home and do three, four hours worth of paperwork. Don't expose them to those hazards. Those are controllable hazards that are not necessary to happen on the job. If you're on a ladder and you're not trained and you're not using the ladder properly, there is a really high probability that you will get hurt. When it comes to ladders, although there's many different types, it's also one of those tools that most of us have used that we don't really give much of a second thought. And they're also one of the most dangerous tools because anytime we use a tool and we don't give it to due diligence about properly inspecting it and using it in the proper perspective, again, we go back to the, oh, I used it this way that one time and nothing bad happened. Then we get to the, oh, that's acceptable because nothing came back and hit me enough that it told me that it was dangerous. And ladders have traditionally uh, been a very dangerous thing. Look at the fault statistics from ladders. They're very dangerous. However, the ladders in, uh, that we use in today's market versus ladders of yesteryear, shall we say, are a lot better. There are ladders on the market now that have platforms. Some have platforms with a little gate so you can walk up. They're adjustable and each leg is adjustable. So instead of grabbing a brick, digging a hole to get your ladder leveled, there's actual leveling feet on each one of the four posts or ones that even as you extend it will have outriggers to give better stability on the left right or the tip over. It still comes down to best practices. Always keep your belt buckle inside the rails, three points of contact while you're climbing up and down, two feet in a hand, two hands and a feet. Again, never assume that ladders are always safe because the ladder, if used properly, can be a very safe and effective tool. Just use it in the right way or use the correct ladder for the scenario. One of the classic mistakes people make on ladders is overreaching. They overextend. Once you get that belt buckle outside of that rail, okay, you're in trouble because the ladder wants to go that way and you want to go that way. So they don't work together very well that way, okay? Do you know what a CAS is? A controlled access zone. So you're working in front of a door, right? And you don't put any tape or, or, uh, or delineators up. Some dude comes flying through that door and takes your ladder out. Yeah, because you didn't control the area. You know, it's your responsibility to control that area. So one of the hazards we have with ladders on, on, the, on the construction project or even on the maintenance project, um, you know, don't use the not a step. The top two are not a step. It says right on there, not a step. I don't care if you paint it off or it's chipped off. It's not a step. It's not a good place for you to stand. You don't have any balance up there. It's way too easy to tip out. Um, the other biggest hazards are making sure your ladder is set up properly. We're in a tight area. You can't get it open. Is that ladder set up so it's not going to fall? 
Um, the manufacturer says the cross arms will be locked in place. Is that really always required? You need to make sure that you're setting yourself up properly. Um, probably some of the biggest hazards we have associated to ladders are other, la other uh, objects that are in the ceiling. Going up to get to our ductwork to install our ductwork and running into ceiling wires or running into uh, hangers or conduits or pipes, thing like that. So it's that whole project hazard. Now that you're raised up on a ladder, you're in a fixed spot. You know, you can always hit your head, hit your shoulder. If you if you have to carry something up your ladder and both hands are full, then we need to find a better way to do it. Where's your partner? You know, where's your rope? Let's set this up right. Generally, one of the hazards of using a fixed ladder is that fixed ladder has been around for a long time. So someone needs to periodically inspect it to make sure that it is still in good condition. Fixed ladders are oftentimes in locations where uh, cranes are being used. So in a manufacturing facility, they may be using a crane uh, to move materials around as they're building new uh, product. Um, those cranes, uh, the forklifts, the materials being moved around um, can strike a fixed ladder and no one even pays attention to it. No one even notices it until six months later when the maintenance personnel need to go onto the roof via the fixed ladder. And at that point in time, they encounter a damaged fixed ladder. So fixed ladders are oftentimes exposed to outdoor elements, to the weather. Um, they can rust, they can degrade over time. Uh, so the hazards are that they're not used very often, but when they're used, um, people generally don't take the time to properly check them out before they're used to make sure that they're in good condition. Ladder safety is you've got to pick the right ladder for the job. A lot of times, you know, I know a lot of injuries have happened because a guy gets to a job site. We had it happen in, 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 uh, over in Lincoln City. Guy gets to a job site, the wall's 24 feet, and he's got a 20 foot ladder, extension ladder. The only problem is, is when he pushes off, what happens? The ladder kicks out, he hits the ground. Why? Because the office was 13 miles away. It's most important to pick the right ladder for the job you're gonna do. The right ladder for the right job, that's making sure that that ladder safely accesses where you're gonna go. If you gotta go up on a two story roof and you only have a 20 foot ladder, it's not going to give you the extension you need to get over the edge of the of the roof. You're not going to have anything to tie to. You're not going to have your three feet over. We did an investigation where a employer uh, selected an orchard ladder uh, to be used. Um, and in this situation, the orchard ladder has a third leg. And that third leg is designed to penetrate into soft soil. In this situation, the employer set the orchard ladder up on a smooth concrete surface, and the third leg um, was not able to penetrate into the smooth concrete, and there was no sort of uh, device to prevent the third leg from spreading. Essentially, there was no spreader bar. The employee set up the orchard ladder um, correctly but set it up on a surface that wasn't appropriate. And so when the employee climbed up on the orchard ladder, their weight pressing down caused the third leg to slide out from underneath them uh, because the orchard ladder couldn't penetrate into the concrete and the employee fell to the ground um, receiving uh, severe injuries. So we try to have a kickoff meeting before every project in the office you know, what they're doing, what kind of work, where they're at, what the building is, um, what's the product. And then, you know, we talk about ladders or scissor lifts or boom lifts or whatever they're going to need where they're working. And, uh, you know, how high is the ceiling? Well, the ceiling's 14 feet. Oh, so you're going to need 10 foot ladders, right? Oh, that's right. I got to get 10 foot ladders. Okay. So let's not take any six footers out there because we won't need them. So that planning, it's that proper planning. If you don't have the right ladder, your job's going to take longer because you're struggling. It's going to be more hazardous because you're struggling and you're not comfortable. And you're, you know, and when you raise the hazard level, I raise my incident level and I don't need you to do that. You need to go home every day, healthy and safe, get the right products. Mm -hmm.